Hello dear viewers, I found a calm place to film the beginning of the video for you. So <coughs> this time I am going to the Burn. I am planning to visit one more town on my way. And uh, I will tell you information about Liburn, the other town. I think when I will be closer to, to them. Still quite a long way to go. At the end of my previous video, I showed you a similar thing, which is crossing the field. But I was too tired to talk about it. Now I'm not yet tired, so I can tell you that I don't know what it is and what it is for. By accident I damaged Ant's house. I am very sorry for that. I stopped here to show you a very beautiful landscape. These hills, fields, trees, road and it is a library and also to show you my kind of uh, new version of uh, GPS nav navigation and uh, it is better than I showed you last time I believe but uh, still doesn't work very well here I found that I'm on the Rue de la Cour show you And uh, on my way there is no such route, but I think I can see that uh, this, I don't see, the name of the street that goes there. So I think I can go like this back to my way. Let's continue. I was going to show you on the map on a bus stop where I go, from where, but it was very clever from a transport company. <laughs> they put this uh, message on the piece of uh, map corresponding to this place. So basically we are somewhere here, I guess, behind this paper, and I go from here to here, I guess, but we cannot see it. Maybe I will, I will find a better bus stop with a map. So, here we go, I found a better map. So, I'm going from Bordeaux to Liburne. But I couldn't take like highway straight away, so I'm going a bit parallel to it. I'm visiting Iraq, which is not really here, but a bit here. And uh, I passed uh, Montosan already getting lost there. Now some we're somewhere here between Montosan and uh, Veir. And actually, I'm planning to visit Veir and uh, tell you something about some places in Veir. And from here to here, it is approximately 40 kilometers for me. And you can see there is two rivers. This is uh, River Garon, and uh, this is River Dordon. And uh, <laughs> they are both uh, almost uh, on the sea level, and uh, between them there is uh, hills, maybe even mountains. So for me, this way is quite interesting because there is uphill, downhill. I passed. Uh, oh, no, actually, yes, uh, the highest point point is somewhere here so now for me now it's more downhill than uphills but I think the way back from Libourne to Iraq will be difficult we will see
Here I want to show you how different is the vines here. So this one you see is all green. And this, okay, probably this is like recently planted. But this side is definitely not recently planted and only few green branches on each. Maybe because it's much older or I don't know why. That's interesting. And there again. There are lots of green branches. Now we are inside the church of uh, Saint Jean Baptiste. It was reconstructed in 19th century and it is situated in the town of um, Weir. The population of the town is uh, 3,595 people. Something wrong happened to my camera, that is why I have to record this information separately and add to my video. Again, as in all towns that I visited, there is a memorial for soldiers, that on, not only soldiers, that died in the First World War. Maybe there is somewhere an additional table for the second, second World War, but no. you a street of wear and uh, you see how wide the sidewalks here this one is okay for one person but this one is like for half person nice street going straight away into the river I think very convenient for amphibious it is a river Dardogne and it is uh, very big very calm and very beautiful for me the color of the water is not so beautiful but as it is very big and the weather now is so good no wind so it's very beautiful for me it is one of the few rivers that have tides you can see that water goes uh, several meters up. This, that is why it has this, that no stairs.
I think it was designed for washing. People can stand here and wash clothes. Very nice idea. Here it is, uh, ruins of commandery of uh, Arveir. It was built in 1170. Unfortunately, it's prohibited to visit it. It's written here since 2005. And there are so many cars, so probably if I will go inside and closer, I can... I mean, they can stop me. So I think I will not go closer. We are coming to Liburn and I think I will find a better place to tell you about the city, the town. I think here it is better. So the population of the town is 23,947 people. The name of the town, Liburn, comes from the family name of uh, Roger de Libourg. Not Libourg, uh, Roger de Leiburn, but it was uh, modified to Leiburn. And uh, he was uh, an English soldier and uh, land owner who founded this town in uh, 1270. And also in this town French uh, singers lived uh, since uh, she was 14 years old. Now she lives in Paris, not here, but uh, she grew up here. And uh, uh, for already several minutes I am showing you the bridge. It's called uh, uh, Le Pont de Pierre, the bridge of Pierre. Uh, it was constructed between uh, 1820 and 1824. And uh, you can see that uh, some part of it is from different uh, bricks, from red bricks, not white but red, because this part was ruined uh, by bombing in uh, 1944, but it was restored, not uh, badly, <laughs> well. Uh, the mouth of the river Isle. Isle. Isle, I think it's called in French, and I don't know what is the correct way to say it in English. It goes into Dardogne, and uh, by grass above the water, you, you can see the tides quite high here. And it is is uh, a tower of a uh, grand port. It is one of the last remaining of fortifications that protected Liburn since Middle Ages and it is classified as a historical monument. I will try to film it from other sides as well. We are a bit unlucky, there is a reconstruction of Fontaine at the main square. Uh, also there is a Hotel de Ville, or town hall, constructed in the uh, 16th century, but was reconstructed in, uh, in the beginning of last century. And uh, at the second floor of it there is a museum of the arts of Libourg. And the museum was found, founded in uh, 1818. And it is the entrance to the synagogue. It was built in the 19th century, but I think synagogue itself is kind of in the yards 
I don't know how to maintain to see it. And this is uh, the church of San Jean. It was reconstructed in neo-gothic style in 19th century, but keeping all the quirks cur of uh, 14th century. This chapel of Konda. It was, it was built in 11th and reconstructed in 15th century, and now it is cultural center. Music is playing, I think, inside. If I'm not mistaken, it is the uh, chapel of uh, Carmel, and uh, I don't know what it is, uh, when it was built, only the name. And also there is a monument to some men. And a nice fountain. And my bicycle, nice bicycle. I think it is a spring. Unfortunately, it's not clean, especially this dirt is very disappointing. As it has bell, I think it is church. I don't know what it is, or what, what kind of church. But I am here to show you this chateau. The name of the chateau is uh, Chateau de Pante. It was built in 18th century. And it has a dovecote. I will show you dovecote later. later. Chateau doesn't look very good. It is old, it's okay. But also there are some broken roofs. Meanwhile I can show you Salon de Toiletage. I don't know what it is, but something about toilets. And I will show you a dove coat. So I think this is a dove coat and uh, this is a broken roof. 
Probably now it is not the best times of this chateau. I don't remember if I already had Turkey in uh, my movies. But here, here we go. Again the dove coat. And uh, this is the last thing that I was going to show you and talk about. But I, I will go home now. But uh, I don't say goodbye yet. Maybe I will film something else on my way back. But it will be the same way as I did going here. On my way back, passing this commandery of Iron, I found no cars, <laughs> so there is no cars, no people, so I can come closer. I hope nobody will see that. And this part of ruins is completely taken by nature. We are again near river Dardogne and by this stick you can see that uh, it flows now opposite direction so because of tides tide comes from um, the ocean and the water goes uh, into the continent now in the evening during the day it was going to the ocean This part of route was suggested by Google and on the way there I even didn't believe that it is the way that I need to take. So I went by another way, but then I realized that it is correct way, the shortest one. So I'm going back by this way. Now I'm at the highest point of my road route and especially my bike is on the, on the very top of it and I'm pretty much close to Bardo. I was going to start my filming here but uh, when I started filming here one man came to me trying to buy my bicycle so I had to stop and now on the way back I decided to finish my video here the the rest of the way will be easy because it will be mostly downhill and it is quite close. So, thank you everybody for watching. Please click like if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to subscribe. And uh, thank you very much for those who already subscribed. See you next time. Postscriptum. The highest point of my trip was about 8 meters above the sea level. <laughs>